New Day in Dental Care is here. Anybody make some mister potato salad or macaroni salad this all holiday? Yeah, macaroni, my cousin, aunt made some bad macaroni, man. She made some bad macaroni, and they didn't have enough cheese, and they tried to use that, you know, that little shred of cheese, because she was shocked. Instead of going to get that thick stuff, old school, and you know, just put a leg across the top, and be thick across the top, and milk, and have cheese. But it didn't work. Peace, peace, what's good? Can't fake the cheese. Peace. Nice. What's going on? Black. Trying to make it Black. to New York. Uh, Queen of Four. So late thing. I put you up on it. As a matter of fact, call me a little bit later on. Queen of Four and Soleil had a conversation, so they might be doing some things in New York. All right, like like next month. So yeah, not confirmed yet. But yeah. Um, this is Brother Richard, brother. I call him Rashad the God. All right. I came on here because I, yeah, I'm just, yeah. Melitated Ohms. All right. I'm asked the brother if he want to be on camera. I don't even know if he want to be on camera. He probably got warrants. I don't even know. I'm going to ask him. But Melitated Ohms. So it's melanin and meditation, bro? Yes, sir. Melody. Can you can you explain to the people, please? Yes, sir. I got you. All right. It's, okay. Yeah, make All, right. It happen. All right. Now, see, here's the deal. Meditation is a form of relaxation. It's also a form of finding peace within yourself. Now, the reason why you meditate, the reason why you take time out for yourself is for your spirit, your soul, and your physical body to align itself properly now the proper time to do this either is in the morning when you wake up or oh, in the evening oh at right street oh at right street <laughs> <laughs> with the thick towel over your eyes and a big yeah, roll of right tissue behind your right head street. tell them what right street right street one of the jails that's in Atlanta, Georgia, <laughs> Ford County, they say one of the worst and nastiest jails they have here in Atlanta. <laughs> if you ain't got a hand game, you deal will get beat up and get your uh, what they call it, your, your shit on the shank took. <laughs> now, I advise you to have many friends down now, or make sure you go ahead and knock the first nigga out that mess with you. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm doing this as a friend, as a fake. I really don't do this for people. But just because I feel like y'all need this association, I will guarantee you that my method will work. Meditation, man. Meditation. Back, now, back to meditation. Now, meditation is, is one of the oldest practices that had ever been known to man. Now, we know people tell you to chill out, lay back, take a minute. All that's telling you to do is meditate. Right. Okay, you got that. Now, how do you meditate? I heard you ask me that. How do you properly meditate? I heard you ask me. I saw you. I saw you looking at me. Here's the deal. You take you a nice, clean shower or either a, a sheet, some clean. After you done bathed, you need to be done bathed first. You need to be, well, let me go back some. Make sure you've been done bathed, shower, blow your nose, wash your hands. You smell decent. And, and you feel good about yourself because you had to go into a state where you are comfortable first with yourself. You got it. Then take your clean sheet or spread or something and you get in a very comfortable position. Now, I don't know if you can cross your leg and do all that type of stuff like the Buddha and them do and, you know, martial arts, but if you can sit comfortably, lean up against a wall or something somewhere where you can be very comfortable. Then I need you to make sure everything in the house is off. Everything is turned off. Well, yeah, say so we they throwing up signs. Are you in the shop with Griff? Yes, I am. Yeah, listen to the brother, man, because this is what goes on in the barbershop, all right? <laughs> now, what I was saying was, <laughs> lay on you a sheet or get real comfortable. Yeah, 
and and make sure you you understand what you're doing. Go in a peace state. Find you somewhere very quiet. Make sure that you have dim light or left none, no light. It's very good. You need to close your eyes. You need to be at peace with yourself. Now, how do you go to a meditative state? I'm going to explain that to you. Close your eyes and then picture yourself drifting off into space. You're leaving Earth. You're going on deeper and deeper into the atmosphere. And you're going further and further out till you hear nothing. You see nothing. And you feel nothing. You're just far out by yourself. That's how you release your spiritual self from your physical being to be at one with the universe. You got it. Once you have done that, you hold that state of thought for as long as you can. And that's how you have the art of meditation. That has been explained to you thoroughly by the brother Nair, which is myself. That's my spiritual name. I don't share that with anybody. My brother Griff is here, so I want him to know my spiritual <laughs> name. My spiritual name, brother, Mr. Griff, it's Nail, sir. Nail, it's a yes, pleasure sir. meeting you, good brother. Pleasure, my Thanks brother. Thanks for that. Yes, sir. All right. Yeah. We got that on Camelton Road right here in the Swan, Southwest Atlanta Territory. What's the name of the barbershop again? Getting the head barbershop. Getting the head barbershop. All right, right here in Camelton Road. Uh, why people say this is the hood, man? This is this is not really. Well, see, what they mean by hood is meaning that these are people that understand each other and they have a brotherhood. Right. See, there's a lot of words with hood on the end of it, and they think it's a neighbor thing. But when you put brother in front of it, it's a brother. How about a neighbor? It's, hood. A, it's a neighborhood, meaning that you have somebody you're familiar with that's around it. Right. You call mm -hmm. them little dot neighbor, as I said. Right, right. Right. So, hood ain't always a bad thing because if it's raining, you got a jacket on with a hood. Mm, okay. You protect yourself. All right. Right. So, especially if it's waterproof. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what barbershop y'all go to, man. But y'all might need to come. <laughs> okay, so I was I was gonna come on and talk about the Ngunzo Saba. I was gonna talk about Kwanzaa um, as the antithesis to this dag on Christmas stuff to balance things out, so we can synthesize this whole idea of the unholy days or holy days or holidays. But I ran into my good brother here, and he had to drop the the meditative thing on me. The meditative thing on me, the melanin and the meditation combined. Yes, sir. And then he was doing, you know, he showed me the meditative position. He broke into the ohm, which, and he broke that down, which is the largest and greatest sound in the universe, but it's not heard, it's felt. Right. Right. He didn't even get into that deep size. We'll have another day for that. We'll have uh, right. Uh, tell them also, and not just about the Kwanzaa and the holidays, we all understand why that these holidays was made, the whole purpose behind it, the reason and psychology that may need to be dissected also. Because these types of things leave you with a feeling of loneliness if you don't participate. Right. So I want to tell you what to do and how to get that feeling away from you like you're not a part, you're not participating, or that you're missing something because you're not a part of the effects. Right, right. We will get into that. Oh, okay, cool. So next time I come to the barbershop, hopefully I can run into this brother and he can drop the science on us. Because uh, the messenger told us to seek knowledge from the cradle to the grave, wherever we can get it from. You understand what I'm saying? And it's a, is there a wrong way to meditate? I can't answer that question. I'm getting my head cut. Is there a wrong way to meditate? Yes, it is. It's a wrong way to meditate. And how is a wrong way to meditate if you are in any type of situation where you're in a loud situation where you can't focus, where you got the light too bright, you hear background noise, or any type of situation will not be able to cause you to focus in a genuine state of being. Now, that word I said was genuine, meaning that you got to be real with yourself. Can you elude uh, this noise or can you get rid of it to the point where you can go into a meditative state and be able to truly... Hold it. They're freeing people. They're freeing people. Uh, I'm live. Okay. Yeah, 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 you know, they, they shut the satellite back down on me. But yeah, that's that's how you are able to uh, be able to, I'm sorry, to be able to properly meditate is when you're in a situation where you can't genuinely focus and have a moment to yourself to where you can focus on that level of a spiritual situation. Now, let me let you know one more thing. 
when people say spiritual, they think that you go down the aisle, you hoop and holler, and then you, you fall out and all that old type of stuff. That's not really spirituality. Now, let's get that straight. Spirituality is when you able to connect with yourself with the higher being and you can feel a presence of awareness that had not been known to many men. You understand? Y'all got that. That's very important. And I'm going to have Mr. Griff to go with that very more soon with you about the spiritual touch. Here he is right here. Now tell me the difference between spiritual and that hooping island when it's open. They, they, they know I'm about to get into religion. I can't get into it in the barbershop because right. I'm respecting the brothers in the barbershop with the beards and the twists. You right. understand? That's because it's important. Um, yeah, and I did. I'm going to let Cypress Soleil know that she got the beard oil. All right, so we're going right. to bring some in and, and make it happen. See, I admire the brothers with the beards, but since I ain't got one. But um, to add on to the, the fact that I'm wrong. Oh, okay. But the, the proper way to meditate, uh, I was at a, a cafe, yes, sir. and I'm slouching down. I was tired as hell. I was slouching down, and the elder came, and she told me, just like this, sit up, boy. I'm a grown man. She said, sit up, boy. And I'm like, okay, I respect the elder, so I sat up. So she left and came back. She says, she was only playing with me, but she was serious. I says, I got a confused look on my face. She said, I told you to sit up. Because when you sit up straight, you align your chakras. And your chakras have to connect to the cosmic energy. So you have to align the chakras by sitting up. So when you meditate, you have to sit up and keep your spine straight so you can align the chakras with the cosmic forces. You understand what I'm saying? This is why uh, our hair is always reaching towards the sun, like black power fist. The twists are important. You understand what I'm saying? Because it moves and it gravitates and moves towards the sun, the cosmic energy to pull it down. You understand? And that's and that's important, man. Yes, sir. That's really important. Yeah. Um I can't say that too much about you ever been in the military? No, sir. Never? How many people you been in the military, good brother? No? You brother? FOI. Martial arts. Well I went to the military as military police. I worked in the prison, correctional specialist. That's the first thing they do when you go to the military. They cut your hair. Because you ain't nothing special. You just like on a conveyor belt. And it's the form of dehumanizing. You see the brother on the news the other day, with the wrestler? They cut his locks. They cut his strength. They cut his cosmic connection. And that's deep, man. It's a lot. It's, it's, it's something more deeper than just him wanting to wrestle. They was humiliating him, cutting his energy and his strength. But anyway, we'll talk about that. We're in the barber shop. I'm going to have to come here every two weeks and just kind of make it plain, man. But anyway, this is Professor Griff for Serious Minds, for Serious Minds. And what do y'all say? Seriously. I got to sign out. Peace. I'm going to talk to y'all later. Say peace, man. Peace, brother. Hey, y'all enjoy yourself, man. Learn from that man. Powerful brother. Peace out. All right. Peace.